Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chem 241. We're going to continue our exploration of stick figures. And here we have two structures that have stick figures. Uh, I chose this one. That's uh, a not too popular cannabinoid called hexahydrocannabinol. And this one's called heroin. Ooh, okay. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna do it the long way, one time only, because we have to get past the long way. Time is money, long ways are not the right way. We have to find ways to save time. But to, you know, to do the whole thing, let's see what we got. Every atom, and what we're gonna do, make a copy of this one, if it lets me. I need Snippy. Snippy's right here. Snippy's my friend. There we go. And we go down here, we hit control paste. Trying. There it is. So a long way. Make another copy. That'd be the short way down there. Don't worry about doing that. All I need at the end is the formula. So take your notes somewhere else. I'm just going to have C's, H's, N's, and O's in a formula, and that's the answer, and that's all I want. But on the first one, I'm going to actually put all the carbons on first. If it lets me. Okay. Remember, the end of a stick is a carbon unless otherwise stated. What do I mean by unless otherwise stated? Well, here's an end of a stick that's not a carbon. It's an oxygen. Here's another end of a stick here that's an oxygen and another one here. But this doesn't have a label, so it's a C. Intersections of, of sticks is carbon, where there's an angle. We have carbons at these intersections as well. And here, and here, and here, and here. And there you go. And Remember, uh, the only atoms that are allowed to be missing are hydrogens attached to carbon. Okay, so notice this hydrogen here in this stick figure has to be drawn because that's not an H attached to carbon. So it's not implied, if you wrote an O there, it's not implied that you have an H. Then you'd have an octet violation. Bad news. All right, so we can count up our C's here. Green C's, go slow. One, two, three, four, five, six for the cycle. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Did you get 21? Excellent. H's will do in blue. It's always carbons then hydrogen then the rest of the atoms alphabetically that's a formula for organic molecule i'm going to draw the h's on this is going to take a lot of time it's wasted time on test day right now it's valuable time because we're learning okay i got three h's on that carbon do you know how i know well there's only one bond showing that's how i know and carbon needs four and there's two bonds showing on this one. So two H's are missing. Same story. Same story. It's taking a lot of time. The next carbon, I'm going to count the bonds that are there for you, and you're going to tell me how many H's are missing. A carbon, a bond to the left, a bond up, a bond down, and a second bond down. That's four bonds. It doesn't matter if they're sigma or pi, the total is four. Don't put an H on that carbon. That would be five bonds to carbon, an octet violation. Uh, we put one H on each of these carbons for the same reason. There's only three bonds showing. I'm going to color this H blue just at the risk that I might not count it. This is a personal thing. <laughs> if I didn't draw that blue, I might forget to count the H. That's me. Uh, four bonds already, four bonds already. Uh, four bonds already. One bond, that's three H's there. 
Did somebody we miss the bus? Somebody need this? Everybody got it? Okay. The good news is you only really need the final answer, so I Okay. I have three more H's on the carbon to the right of that. Three more H's. One H on the carbon below. Two H's there. There's two carbons, two bonds showing, two missing. Two bonds showing, two missing. One bond showing, three missing. Three bonds showing, one missing. Two bonds showing, two missing. Three bonds showing, one missing. I think I got them all. Now, I like to, in case I miscount on one part of the molecule and I don't want to start all over again, I cut my molecule in half. You don't have to do this, it's just personal. It just, if I make a mistake, I'm only starting half of it over. And you know, just make sure you don't have any atoms on your line. So to the left, how many H's do I have? I have three, I'm gonna do a running total. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen on the left of that. H thirteen on the left. From the right, I'm going to count. Uh, I'm going to start with the OH and go all the way around the ring around the rosy. Uh, one, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen. 16, 18, 19. I started with that one, didn't I? So I don't want to count it again. 19. Good. On the right is H19. Add them up. We got 32, right? And then I think there's a one O or two O's. There's two O's. They, they get listed last. All I need to see on your activity is what's highlighted here. See, the gentleman coming in late is feeling better already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do it a lot faster. That's something you should be striving toward. You're not there yet. But I am not going to write out the C's. They're pretty easy to count. I think you agree with that. So let's not have the answer in front of us. And count C. I'm gonna start on the left and go to the top and then around. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ring is six, so that's, that's six more, that's 11. 12, 13, 14. Ring is six more. Where was I, 14? Now I'm at 18 and then 19. Did you get 19? We'll verify later. And if you're in doubt, just start over from the other side. I'm gonna go over uh, uh, one plus six is seven, eight, nine, 10, 10. And then the ring is six more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I got the same number twice, didn't I? B21. And as to save a lot of time, I'm just gonna say H's equal, dot all right and i'm just going to put how many dots i need around near the each part i need three here you don't have to show bonds or anything i'm just doing a count right three there two there two there two there two there one 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 zero zero you didn't see where i was zero 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 three it's easy with the sticks to see. If you add the lines from the, the carbon to the dots, you get four, right? Look, one line and three dots is four. It's gotta be four. Three lines, one dot is four. Good. Dot, 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 dot. And I'll do a cut just to be safe. I don't even know if it's the same spot where I did a cut before. It doesn't matter. H is on the left. Uh, let's do the running count. Three, five, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
On the right, 3, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 14, 16, 17. Did we get 31 before? We got 32? What did, I, what did I do wrong, guys? Somebody didn't catch me. Should it be 18? Did I miscount? Maybe. 3, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 15, 17, 18. You were correct. I just didn't count right. Rest. The rest of Okay. And then uh, the easy part. I forgot two ages? Oh, I just put the 18. Thank you. Did I tell you guys I really need you guys all semester? Did I tell you that yet? I'm telling you now. <laughs> You'll see it in the morning video. It's mentioned there, and I, it doesn't change for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got to add those two. I want all the ages. I want 32. Is that what we had before? And we had O2 before, right? There's your final answer. You already had the final answer. So that's the way you want to do it. And that's the way we're going to do the second one from scratch. H is equal dot. Just a, just a reminder. Dot equals H. Uh, hey, sometimes even in a stick figure, it's written out how many H's there are. It's a combination of Stick figures and condensed. That's called condensed. So just put the three dots, put the one dot, the one dot, zero, zero, zero on the bottom three, bottom four if you count that one, zero on this one. Uh, well, what about here? Two, one, one. We'll talk about these fat bonds in a second. They're just bonds, by the way. Either it's talking about geometry, which is not really an issue in this question. Are we okay with the three dots on the bottom left and zero dots here? Because there's four bonds already. And one dot here. And what does it mean when this thing starts out with a double bond and then it's kind of interrupted and then it finishes a double bond? What do you think that means? She knows the thick one is a bond that's in front of the page. So it's kind of blocking your view. There's a double bond between this carbon and this carbon. And a carbon on the right has a single dot because there's a three bond showing one minute. One, two, three. So the fat bonds just mean they're out that direction towards you. And later today, you're going to learn if you have a one that's like a dash or a hash mark, it means going behind the page. And it's just it's spatial information. It doesn't change your formula at all. And let's talk about the fat bonds. Uh, that's just one, an intersection between two bonds. And so is that. I, I don't want to be, oh, that's too fat. That eraser is chubby. I just want to move this out a little so you know for sure it's for the carbon right there. Nothing here, right? Four bonds showing. I just want to double check, make sure I got them all. One, one, three. I think I got them. I think I got good cuts here. Above the line, we have a C. Let's look. One, two, ring for six more is eight, and nine. That's it. Nine. Bottom, one, Two, ring, the, the flat ring for six more, that's eight. Okay, and then this one outside the ring for nine, and then everything out in front, uh, 10, 11, 12. See, 12. Let's verify that one. Start here, one, two, three, and then four, and then the ring is six more, that's 10, 11, 12. Good. Count your dots for H's. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Bottom, 
bottom left. I don't know how to count it. Uh, stay away from the wedges for now. Three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go under the wedges now. 12, 15, 17. And I'm unhappy. You know why I'm unhappy? I just know a molecule that has only one nitrogen and C's, H's, and O's has to have an odd number of hydrogens. Can somebody find my mistake? There's a mistake, probably one hydrogen missing or one extra hydrogen. Hmm. Miscounted somewhere. I don't know. Three, four, five, six, seven. And here, you got, to, I miscounted them. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this time I'll start with the wedge part. Everything attached to wedge part, including that. Two, four, seven, eight. Now I'm going to non-wedge. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, as the man said. Thank you. I miscounted it. I count my dots better, people. We'll do the uh, N's and O's and stuff at the end. C21, correct? H23, uh, sorry. And one nitrogen. And four oxygens or five? One, two, three, four, five. List them alphabetically at the end, okay? That is the final answer. And before I let this video go, I'm going to show you how you can both verify that answer and come up with thousands of versions of this question for yourself based on something you find more interesting. Okay, I am going to go to Google. And this is the one time where using, uh, wow, using Wiki is okay. You don't see that too often from teachers, but Chemists check wiki for accuracy. So I'm just going to go heroin wiki. Uh, I want the drug, not the uh, character in a story. No, I did want the drug without the. My favorite example of the, the difference between heroin, the actor or the character in a play, and heroin, the drug, is perfectly illustrated by one actress, Uma Thurman. Google it and get the reference that has something in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's my molecule. And you can verify the picture here. And if you want to make your own problem up, type your own name of your own molecule, drug, or whatever you want in the, the search box here. Wiki has it organized because of the chemistry people looking. Always there's the picture up here. You can copy the picture on a piece of paper. The only way to learn how to draw chemical structures is by hand, practicing. You get better if you do it by hand. You will not get better if you just look at it and say, uh-huh, I get it. No, doesn't work, trust me. <laughs> All right. So draw that out, if, or whatever molecule you have, and go to the bottom right. They'll have the formula in the properties, C21, H23, NO5, C21, H23, NO5. Look at us. There you go. Good work. And that's our first activity. So I just need the highlighted things, and that's it.